Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and today we're going to take a look at how to get the mist in out of glass vases and things. Now I don't know if you can see here this watermark line that comes all the way around. Well you can get that throughout the old piece. It's called Fox In or Mist In. Well this piece here has got it all the way around at about 2 inches. Um, certainly that level. I'm hoping you can see it there, the clouding. So we're going to have a look, see if we can get rid of that. Stay tuned. Okay, just quickly before we get going guys, if you love antiques, collectibles, you're in the reseller business, then don't forget to subscribe because my channel's all about how-to videos. I go out buying antiques and I show you what everything's worth and how to identify it. So stake your claim guys, make sure you subscribe. If the videos help you and you like them, I would really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep creating videos. Let's get to it. Okay, now I've already made a video on taking misting, mild misting out of uh, glass vases and drinking glasses and that using a grinding paste and a cloth and doing it by hand. Now today I'm going to cover a large area so I'm actually doing an experiment. I've got myself a little cordless drill fully charged up little power drill and I bought myself and photos that will come up there now a little glass polishing kit now this is actually a polishing kit for repairing scratches on windscreens now what I'm interested in at the moment is this little sponge hard sponge wheel that's the main thing I'm interested in at the moment. I intend to, bear with me, there we go. So now we have a wheel. And what I intend to do is simply in and do it mechanically. Now what am I gonna use? This kit came with a powder. So it come with a variety of other different um, pads and wheels and things and it came most importantly with this grinding or polishing powder now from what I understand you just wet the sponge a little bit dip it in and then just start polishing so we're gonna have a go now and see if it works it's only cost me a tenner well seven pound I think it was for this stuff So, it's going to be really interesting. I've never used this before, so it's going to be a first for me. Um, so, we're going to give it a good go now. With a drill, it really shouldn't take long. And let's find out together whether or not it's worth its weight in gold. Okay, so all I've done, a little bit of hot, clean water in the glass here. Obviously, it's not very professional the minute the way I'm doing it, guys, but... Uh, you'll probably have it a lot more set up tidy than this however we now have uh, yeah it's wet I'm gonna wet a bit more actually I'm not that happy with that right so we've now got a very wet sponge and open this powder up Melt. And what I'm going to do is I want to cover this whole thing in a thin layer of the powder and get the flowers and start. Now I can't see, sorry guys I didn't realise you couldn't see there, let me turn this camera down a bit. So, that has taken me just a minute, so I'm going to use a wet wipe now and I just want to have a little look to see if we're actually getting anyway. Right, I can't see you that quick, but let's have a look. Do you know, it really is actually making a difference. 
Just get a touch more water on the sponge and a bit more powder. It's actually working guys. So we'll see the result will be the proof in the result, like you know what I mean. Tell you what my arm's aching. Where I'm pressing up against the side is quite aching. <laughs> Okay, so moment of truth. We're gonna have a look to see whether or not they've cleaned it off. As I've said, guys, I've never used this stuff before. It's gonna be a first for me, first for you, and a really interesting experiment to see if it works. Because this will only work on things that are hollow you can get inside, okay? It won't work on decanters and things like that because you literally can't get inside them to get the drill bit to them. However, if it works on vases and things like this, then do you know what? It's worth its weight in gold. I know the other method I use does work, but it takes a long, long time. Now, when I found this car windscreen polishing paste, I thought, well, that's something I certainly got to try for the videos to see what happens. It's looking good a minute, but the thing is we're misting. You can't really see it tidy when the item's wet. You've got to dry it. That's when you see the misting when it dries. So, a minute, it's looking all right. But when I dry it now, we'll soon see. And then we're going to have a look, because this one, actually, I sold it. And they brought it back because of the misting. I didn't realise it was misted. And I said I'd get it out for them. But when they brought it back, they'd scratched it on the back. Well, either they'd scratched it on the back or I'd sold it with a scratch without realizing. So we're gonna have a go as well, see if we can take a scratch out with this same polishing paste. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth, guys. I am actually excited because this is so much easier than my normal way of doing this that takes forever. And there's still a bit of mist in there that I can see straight away. Now it hasn't taken it out as of yet. I can still make out mist in lines. I don't know if you can see it just here. So, I'm going to try again. Keep going because I was only for a minute. So we'll have another go find out what happens in it right so there's our thing get a bit of powder on it and let's go again Shall we have another look guys, see what we're doing here, if anything.
you know, I think we can, there, guys. There's still a little bit of mist in there, as I can see. Certainly around this rim here. You can see around this edge. So I'm going to carry on and see what I can get out of this edge here now. It hasn't been an easy process, but it was a lot of misting on this one. So, fingers crossed. Whew. E we don't have um, wet wipes. What was this cloth they give me on? Hmm. Bear with me, guys. Okay, just nipped up the shop for some kitchen towel and some wet wipes. Because I'm in the shop, it's easier for me to use wet wipes than trying to wash the item in a sink. If I was at home, I'd just simply chuck in some soapy water and wash it out but um, the sink in the shop is tiny so here we go let's carry on is it let's see how we're getting on with this be nice to think I could save this beautiful vase Let's make a start. I'm hoping, guys, we can get this vase really nice and clean, and you'll see the finished result then, and then I can sell it back to the gentleman who bought it originally. Because he does like the vase. He just said when he displayed and put the light on and he saw all the mist in, he couldn't display it. So I'm stinking now by the time I'm finished. Nothing unusual for me. I could have an Amani suit on and I'd end up working on a car or something if I broke down. I'm absolutely terrible guys, I really am. This ain't exactly the clothes you want to be wearing when handling this type of cleaning product on a drill. But needs must, has to be cleaned and I'm in the shop doing it. So let's see how we look in, is it? You know, I think we've got it, guys. Looks pretty clean to me. Still the tiniest residue of uh, a mist in there. Nothing at all on that side. And I mean, it's the tiniest, guys, of mist in. And this had a thick, solid band all the way around it. So I'm pretty confident to be honest with you, like another five or ten minutes just on this little one corner to get the last of that out, right where it is, just by this, only tiny when held up in the light, but I'll get that out of there, and then the next thing I'm going to have a go, well I'm going to move on to this now, can you see that there, them scratches, now they weren't there, don't know where they've come from, but I've got other pads. Now, this one here is quite, oh that's the fixing plate, that is for these pads, I thought then I was quite sharp. So, simply, it's uh, like a little velcro side, you just stick it to it and away you go. So we're going to have a go, this one is where I'm going to get messy I think. 
I'm gonna put that one by the air for now. And there. Okay, I'm not going to dinner, I'm just trying to keep my shirt clean because <laughs> this one's gonna spray everywhere, I think. So, vase, and we wanna clean this scratching off the back if we can. So, pour on some, uh, bear with me, let's turn that down. Right, I'm gonna pour on some of the powder onto here. Oh, that was way too much. It'll, oh well. It is what it is. A little tiny bit of water a minute. This one isn't going as well as I would have liked a minute, but there you go. don't know if this has actually managed to do anything at all really you can still make out the scratches uh, but they they only can you just see them it may have improved slightly but you can still see the scratches truthfully don't know a minute
Okay, so finished article guys as best as I'm gonna get him. I think I've got pretty much all the misting out. So it's a nice clean vase for sale now. However, I didn't get all of that scuff off. I got the shallow bits off. You can still see a little bit of it there. Now it's nowhere near as bad as it was at the beginning. And as you can clearly see, all the misting is gone. A lot of hard work. It took me about a half hour of polishing this with this machine. However, this is a 95 pound vase. It's worth the effort to clean it. Now, I could put that in to be polished by my glass restorer. And if it don't sell, I probably will have him polish this face and remove that scuff. Now the misting is out of it. What we have is an absolute stunning Scandinavian signed. Uh, you can see the signature. It's just in by there. Hard to make it out. Um, but it's signed. And this is a shipping line one. That's a shipping company. But look how clean that vase is, guys. For the misting, it works. For the gentle scratches, it takes the, the minor scratches out of scuffs out. But it doesn't take anything deep out. All in all, um, the, the powder and the tools cost me, I think it was seven or eight pound. It was a good experiment. <clears throat> it's taken out the uh, misting. Now, this was severe misting, um, not like the normal little bit of misting. So, I'm pleased and quite happy with how it's taken the misting out. I know it's got that little scuff on the back, but that's not the end of the world. This is a beautiful, beautiful vase um that is now clean so if you've got things that need uh, that gone missing guys and you want it out it's not an easy process but get yourself a cordless drill and that pack with the um pads and the paste on um ebay seven pound or just over seven pound I'll add the photograph of the screenshot again of the purchase at the end of the video now so you can see that. If nothing else, perfect for getting misting out guys. It really does work on the misting. It it adds into that no problem whatsoever with the drill. Was taking the time is trying to get the deep scratches out. And I've got a lot of the shallower ones out. Um, it's just a couple of deep deep scuffs in there. But all in all, I'm really pleased with the results. I really am. We've now got, once again, a saleable vase. So, now I've had this one a while. This one came in, I think it was 10 or 20 pounds. It wasn't a lot of money. Um, but I didn't realize at the time it had missed in. And when I put it on the shelf, obviously it must have spread. But it's now a clean, saleable item. I really hope all this effort showing you uh, how to clean it and showing you it actually works. That's the key showing you it works because anything you put a bit of water and wet these and they are the misting disappears but when they're bone dry uh the misting comes straight back this is dry i've just dried this with kitchen roll and as you can see it is sparkling clean no misting at all guys it does work gets the misting away no problem at all no good for decanters as i've said before but for an open vase like this definitely without the shadow of a doubt it will take you missed in. I hope you uh, find it useful and uh, well it's certainly a way of you making money if you see these pieces that are severely misted then you know you can clean them providing you can get that drill into them. Guys I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I really hope this video helps you. I hope you've enjoyed having a look. Um, it's been an experiment for me. It's not the normal paste I use. I will link in uh, to my other video in the description for you if you want to watch the other video um, and I show you taking misting out of drinking glasses with a grinding paste by hand which again works but not to this level you wouldn't want to do it by hand with the grinding paste to this level of a piece of this size so yeah really good guys I'm really pleased with the results thanks for watching bye for now